This is a short video that describes an indoor air quality investigation that the Building Science Corporation conducted at a building, commercial office building in the cold climate in northeastern United States. Indoor air quality is very important to most people since the average North American spends 90% of their lives inside buildings and so the quality of the air in those spaces is very important. The most common problems uh, in indoor air quality relate to some sort of particulate or gaseous pollutant in the air that we breathe. There are four P's that need to be cons uh, considered in an indoor air quality investigation. Pollutants are one of them. The people and asking the people what they experienced and understanding their concerns is the second important criteria. The third one is the path by which pollutants that you can hypothesize might actually get to the people. And the fourth consideration, often overlooked, is the pressure that drives those pollutants along that path. And this investigation demonstrates all four of those principles about understanding where the pollutant comes from, uh, the path that it had to travel, how did pressures generate to move it along that path, and what the pollutants actually were. In our experience, about 50% or so of our indoor air quality complaint cases are related to something that's actually fairly obvious in that either because of a lack of controls or because of a failure of a piece of equipment or a failure of that equipment to be installed, fresh air is not being provided. Uh, not a lot of fresh air is actually required per person to provide good air quality. However, it does need to be reliably delivered and that's a, a common problem. Another 25% are fairly obvious problems due to a pollutant source. A pollutant source could be a forklift or a, a, a glue that was used in a special carpet tile or it could be caused by mold growth in, in a wet spot, etc. And then the remaining 25% or so, these are very rough numbers, are other things. They're usually combinations of events, uh, often rather rare combinations of events that are very hard to track down because they're not consistently there during a building investigation. And these ones take a lot more time because you have to actually visit the building several times and you have to really pay attention to what the people are saying, how the building operates, and what it is made of. I think a lot of people were uh, feeling different symptoms, but for the most part um, they ranged from a sensation of burning in their lungs to uh, scratchy throats, scratchy eyes, and those symptoms would dissipate after they'd gone home, uh, either for the night or the weekend, and then when they came back, they found the same thing would sort of recur. Okay, what we found here is that we have three air handlers in this area. They're all serving spaces with supply air um, that are not connected back on the return side. That is, the returns are all out in this hallway area, and the supplies are in the workspaces, separate in this hallway. So they're making a lot of noise, not moving a whole lot of air. And the outside air is just ducted into this overhead return space and not hard ducted to eat any of these returns. So the bottom line is, is that the return air has to be hard ducted to the space that it's actually supplied, the air handler supplying its air to. And the, the outside air has to be hard ducted into that return that is, like I just said, ducted to the space where the supply air is going to. And that applies to three air handlers. One that's serving the major architectural space on this side, one that's serving the architectural space on the other side, which is over the bathroom, and another one which is serving the suite next to the architectural space that's disconnected from that, uh, the suite that we were investigating. So part of the problem with getting a good return in this problem here was that that was the return duct or grill, size for about, looks like a thousand cubic feet per minute, but when it was covered with the manila file folder, the flow return dropped quite dramatically to probably zero. Okay, here's, here's the outside air duct. That outside air is coming from a rooftop unit and it's just being dumped into this over the ceiling space. That, that's an eight inch duct. That needs to be ducted with three five inch ducts solidly a fully ducted connection to the return side of each one of these three air handlers, two serving that architectural space and one serving this adjoining suite over here.